the baby fat minnow you've all seen it we're going to show you a new colorway that's dark and it just absolutely crushes fish so check it out Okay, so on this black baby fat minnow, it's a, it's a coloration that we were actually watching a video on YouTube and there's some guys in uh, Scandinavia somewhere, I forget where they are, but they were using a belly scratcher minnow with this black coloration with orange eyes. So we modified that for the baby fat minnow and it's a killer. So check it out, it's the same tie as the normal baby fat minnow, just in these new colors. First thing you need to do, is subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it and it helps us to continue to make these videos. All right, so I'm gonna get started by just adding some thread right, right in front of the bead. And we're gonna kinda trap this bead about right here just by crisscrossing over the top of it a few times. At the end of the day, I'm using an eighth, eighth inch or three mil eye and that needs to be able to sit uh, between the bead and the eye of the hook. So there's enough gap there. So this fly is pretty simple. For the back or for the tail of the fly, the movement, I'm just going to pick a nice piece of marabou that has flowy tips like this. And I'm just going to pull a clump off the stem about like that much. You don't want this fly to be too full. If you use too many materials, it's just not going to swim right. So I'll tie it in about right there. Just about like that. Get rid of the excess. And then for the guts on this one, we're using a cool color. It's called Ice Dub Minnow, Minnow Pearl Back. And it's kind of like a grayish color. It just has a bunch of flash in there. So the first batch of this that we're gonna tie in we're just going to dub some on our thread to cover up the marabou that we just tied in. Just like that. can kind of be messy a little bit. And then the next little bit, we're going to tie in by just grabbing a loose clump like this. And we'll tie it in right behind that bead clump style. Just like that and then brush all of these fibers back. And then advance your thread to the front. At this point, you can take a little piece of Velcro or a comb or something and give your flash a little brush out. Now I'm just gonna pick some black bruiser blend. It could be like black with copper, it could be black and red it could be anything really but it, this is bruiser blend junior and i've got a clump about that big so i'm going to preen these fibers so they're all kind of facing the same direction it's critical not to use too much of this stuff if you use too much of it you kind of lose the integrity of the minnow head and then you have too bulky of a fly it's not going to ride right in the water stuff like that. So before I tie this in, I'm going to advance my thread all the way to the eye of the hook and I'm going to tie it in. So most of that is going over the front of the fly, just like that. So I'll just repeat that process on the bottom of the fly. So just like that. So once we have those two portions tied in, I'm going to kind of fan them out. So if I turn this this way, you'll see how I have that nice and fanned out. And what that does is when I push that over the, the fly, it covers the sides of the head. I mean, we can fix that later, but it's easier just to do it this way at first. So I'm going to do that to the bottom as well. I'm going to pull the top over and give it a quick wrap of thread and then the bottom I'll pull that under and just wrap my thread right here on the head and as you can see I've got to cover it up on this side you can see the bead still showing through so if that happens I just grab 
my fibers and just kind of wiggle them back and forth a little bit and that will put them all right in place. So from here I'm just going to lightly comb out the bruiser to make a minnowish shape because we're going to put some eyes on this now. But before I do that I'm going to do a quick whip finish. All right, so in the past, I have used um, resin to hold the eyes in place permanent or temporarily. But on these, these uh, newer flies, I've actually just been using gel super glue. So if you don't use gel super glue, uh, if you use normal super glue, it will kind of just you know seep into the head and it won't really do any good. I just use this simple Loctite stuff. But before I do that, I can see a, a few little stragglers, so I'm just going to take a lighter and just hit it real quick. That gets rid of any of those little stragglers and that kind of screws up our resin finish. Then, I'm just going to flatten the head, just find some toothless forceps, and I'm just going to come in here and just give it a quick smash. And what that does is it creates a nice flat surface that I can use to, to stick those eyes to. If it's a round surface, the eyes don't really like to adhere very well. So once I have that, I'm just going to get a tiny little dab of super glue on that side. And then another tiny little dab on that side. Mind you, you don't need that super glue to hold the eyes in place permanently. It's just going to kind of hold it until we can get some resin to cover up the whole thing. So again, I'm using these three mil or eighth inch fluorescent orange eyes and I'm just going to stick those in right behind the eye of the hook and just kind of gently place those. If you just pinch them too hard you, they'll slide and then your fingers get in the super glue and then it's a mess. So. That's where we are with those eyes. And they're pretty set. Once I pinch those in place, they set up pretty well. And on this, I'm going to use Solares uh, medium viscosity. Um, in the past, I'd used multiple different types of resin, you know, a thick and then a, a tack free. This Solares really does the trick. It's super durable. And uh, with one shot, I can just finish the whole fly. So the key here is to put a gob on there and then smooth it out with a bodkin. So shout out to my father-in-law who made me this steezy uh, purple bodkin that matches the purple popsicle. So it's just like a needle on the end of it. So I've got a pretty healthy dollop of resin on here. Um, and I'm just going to take that resin and push it back off the eye and it will coat the whole eye and I'm barely going to have it touch the resin. Then once I get that set I'm going to just kind of rotate it like this while I hit it with the infinity light. Wait, no this is the the plasma light. Dang, this one's a beast. So once I get it all pretty much cured, I'll slow it down and give it even more of a, a gnarly cure. All right, don't go anywhere though because you've got to check out what this looks like wet. Okay, so there we have a head, totally tack free. And the beauty of this is when it gets wet, it, it's awesome. So that's what we look like with the blacked out, what do we call this Brig? Is it blacked out? Blacked out, blacked out baby fat minnow. Anyway, tie some. If your fish are eating little small streamers, highly recommend doing this one because it kills fish. I mean, it doesn't kill them. Let's just figuratively say it. It doesn't really kill them. We just torture them a little bit. We poke them in the face. 
Then we bring them in nice and gently and then we release them into the water from only a few inches above so that the fish police don't get mad at us. And then we don't kill the fish. They just learn their lesson. Then they go tell their friends that an alien abducted them. Yeah, then they go and tell their friends that an alien abducted them. Brigham, no they don't. I bet they do. All right.